Hey guys, I'm James, and welcome to the Dime City Garage. Today I'm genuinely excited to introduce to you an all new Dime City Originals product. Um, it, uh, it helps uh, correct a rather sketchy problem and allows for easier installation and modification of uh, foot controls, primarily the rear brake and its associated mechanicals. Here we have the all new Dime City Originals rear brake cable conversion kit. Um, this kit allows you to retrofit a cable in place of the stiff linkage rod between the rear brake and your rear brake actuator. Now, the uninitiated among you might be saying, uh, that's cool, but why? Well, this kit defeats the incredibly unnerving undulation in the rear brake pedal caused by the hard linkage uh, as the rear swing arm articulates with the tarmac. Um, at the same time, it provides a smoother action than the stiff linkage, and it also allows you more flexibility in routing the cable. You're no longer married to the, the stock linkage, and you can take any necessary route between the rear brake pedal and the rear brake actuator. As you can see, the kit includes the rear foot brake cable, front and rear brackets. Now the front bracket is even equipped with multiple mounting positions to compensate for any offset in the uh, mounting position that you're not free to choose. So now that everybody's familiar with the, uh, the kit a little bit and uh, with the problem that it's intended to correct, uh, let's take a closer look at an example on a bike. All right, for this project, we're gonna start by installing the hub bracket onto the hub plate by removing the hitch pin from the nut here and then backing out this bolt. And you're going to want to install the hub bracket over this stay here so that the position is such that you can reinstall your hitch or cotter pin when the nut is tightened back down. Next we're going to install the cable by sliding it into the hub bracket here and then attach it to the brake arm uh, but you'll need to slide off this little dust seal before routing the cable into the housing and then putting the cable into place onto the bracket. Now ultimately you may need to rotate your brake arm on the brake cam so that the arm is within reach of the cable and can be properly aligned. Uh, to do this simply remove the, uh, the pinch bolt up here and then slide the brake arm off the cam. Uh, then you might need to, uh, to rotate it, line the splines back up, and uh, while you're pushing it on, if you meet resistance, please don't use a hammer. Instead, try opening the gap a little bit with a small pry bar or a screwdriver, and then make sure that it, it slides gently back into place. Now the next step is to decide where and how to install the control bracket. Uh, now this step is critical to the proper function of the brake system and may require some additional bracketry depending on your install job. Uh, keep in mind that this is a DIY kit and as such allows room for uh, creative freedom for your particular install scenario on your particular bike. Um, you'll see that any one of the three holes can be used on the front mounting bracket uh, to achieve proper cable alignment. And you can see on our kit here, we use the innermost hole and cut off the outermost to create a nice, slim, clean install. You'll want to take care to ensure that there is sufficient play in the cable at the proposed mounting location before drilling your holes. Uh, the proper amount of play should allow the rear brake arm to move as intended by the manufacturer. And again, depending on the bike model, the rear brake arm may need to be adjusted on the cam uh, to ensure that you've got the proper amount of play and uh, alignment of the cable and the arm. You'll also want to make sure the control bracket lines up with the brake pedal's connecting point. Uh, and once you've determined where the control bracket will be located, you may be able to cut off one or more of the connecting points like we have here. And finally, uh, using the wing nut at the end of the cable, you're going to want to adjust the tension on your brakes as needed so that there is minimal play in the brake pedal, but not so much that it binds the brakes. Now, modification of the brake system isn't exactly like fitting a new muffler or a trick pair of indicators. It is one of the most critical component systems on a motorcycle. So if you're unsure of your skill set, please consult the help of a professional. Um, and as always, uh, some of mechanics' best friends, uh, safety wire, safety wire pliers, uh, safety wire drill guides, and of course, everybody's best friend, especially when working with critical components, Loctite. All of which we have covered at DimeCityCycles.com. And there you have it. We hope our new rear brake cable conversion kit makes as big of a difference in your ride as it did ours. Thank you guys for tuning in to this edition of Dime City Garage. We hope to see you all next time. And as always, be sure to check out DimeCityCycles.com for our awesome new kit and many other innovative new products.